Hello there. Here's another video of me sketching some stuff. Uh, today I'm going to be using a one and two and three pencils, three whole pencils. Uh, I have to be entirely honest, I'm also going to be using a stump, which is a kind of blending tool. I'm going to start off just by sketching out a random squiggle with a B pencil, which is a fairly hard pencil. Um, as you can see, I'm making lots of squiggly lines. Uh, see if you can guess what this is. Uh, leave a comment below if you do at this point. And there you go, that was it for my first pencil. And this is a 4B, which is a nice soft pencil. A nice soft dark lead which is good for shading, blending, all sorts of things. Um, I quite often use a 2B pencil for general sketching, but this one's going to, this particular sketch is all about the shading. Um, and I want to be able to control that as much as possible. So you'll see I'll be quite soft to start with. Um, I've also cut out any, or tried to cut out any bits of my face. That doesn't sound right. Anyway, this is the stump. You use this for blending. It's a blending tool. It's basically a really tightly curled bit of paper and it gives you a nice directable line of shading. So as you can see, we're starting with a rocky outcrop here. Um, this, is this is kind of a copy of a picture I've already done. It's not really a copy, but it's based on a picture I've already done as a doodle in a different sketchbook. I wanted to see what it came out like on the the grey paper actually doing it. So it's a an A3 uh, Clairefontaine multi-technique paper in grey, which is quite a nice colour to work from it gives you a sort of mid-tone to work from so you can make it darker and lighter rather than having to get all the darkness yourself you can start from a mid point so as you can see i'm just shading and blending here and there's some bits where i won't blend it at all because i want it very dark or i want it to be a very crisp line And you'll see sometimes I'm using the pencil virtually uh, flat on, on the side and sometimes I'm using the tip of the pencil depending on the kind of mark I want to make. I'm also using the blender kind of like a pencil so where it's picked up on the main bits uh, where it's picked up the colour from the pencil where the graphite from the pencil I'm also you can see how how mucky that is. Uh, I'm using that as a sort of mid-tone so adding to the rather than putting any pencil down just using what's already left on the the stump. I prefer the French word for those as a tortillon uh, which sounds nice I'm sure it means something really awful because that's very much a, a thing isn't it it just sounds a little bit posher to say tortillon but uh, You'll find them in most art shops as stumps. I think this one's... Oh, this is the stump I got from this. So this is a Faber-Castell stump, but you can get reasonable price ones. And you can also make your own sort of um, by rolling up a bit of kitchen towel or a bit of sort of thick paper nice and tightly and you get a little... So you've got like a little pointed end um, and you can use cotton wool as well or cotton buds. I'm not sure, I, I don't particularly like using cotton wool as a blender because it puts, the, the sort of feel of it puts my teeth on edge. But that's just me. Um, we're doing here, I'm trying to get some definition so you see there's some very dark bits going down here. So I've got some, probably overdone it on the shading and I haven't really done a very consistent 
light source on this. I'm not sure why not. Normally I'm pretty hot on that sort of stuff, but I suppose this is more sort of work. Well, it's working from a scribble. So it's working from a sort of generalized point rather than actually being a, you know, starting with a particular end in mind, uh, which does make a difference, I think. Sometimes it, it works for, for people when you've got like, ah, oh, I'm, today I'm going to draw a flower or today I'm going to draw, uh, uh, I don't know, a tiny dragon riding on a phoenix through a rainbow castle, I don't know, you know, I, but I'm not really. Sometimes I like to start with an idea and work away from the idea. So I'm not entirely sure what I was doing here because as I say, this is sort of based on something I'd already sketched out. I just wanted to do a, a full size version, if that makes sense. The other version I did was about, I don't know. Imagine you do two L's with your, with your hands. So you've got that right angle, the square in that right angle of your hands there. It's sort of a, that sort of size. Which is a kind of a weird way of measuring it, but there you go. Um, God, I'm doing a lot of this. It's taken a while. You see, it's kind of like a sandy. So it's kind of sandy foreground and sandy background and then this rock. I suppose it's part of it's kind of like in a desert or something where it's not necessarily sand, it's earth or very fine powdered mud or something like that, but it's definitely a, a rock of some kind. I don't know what kind of rock. Probably something really boring, but it's sort of crumbled in this sort of in quite a geometric way, so it must be some kind of I don't know. Maybe you have a better idea of what kind of rock it could possibly be. Again, leave comments in... Well, leave comments below. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and like and blah blah. If you like rocks, don't forget to like this video. If you really like rocks, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I mean, I'm not saying we're going to do more rocks, but at the same time, I'm not saying we're not either. So, you know, maybe. I quite like rocks. I quite like environments, actually. I quite like drawing environments. This kind of looks like butt cheeks. I wonder why I did that. I obviously had butt cheeks on the brain. Sometimes you have butt cheeks on the brain. Ah, I, I see. I've noticed that I've made it look kind of like... Whoop. Ah, this is me bringing in an eraser on the end of it. I don't know why I'm using the, the eraser off the back of my mechanical pencil. That seems like a really dumb idea, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm trying to change the butt cheeks into something else. Into some sort of... Yeah, it's definitely a particular kind of rock. I just don't know what kind of rock would do that. But my geology's a bit rubbish, so... Maybe there's a geologist watching this can let me know. That would be cool. Screen adjuster, drawing, drawing, drawing. Yeah. It's kind of it's a slightly forlorn image. I don't really like. I mean, I don't mind drawing, drawing people, but it's not something I, I. I don't doodle people very often when I'm doodling. I tend to doodle. I tend to doodle places, like buildings and stuff, and kind of, I mean this sort of thing is like drawing a building because you've got all fairly regular shapes, I mean even though they're irregular shapes, they're regular irregular shapes, they're not like curves and they're not like squishy bodies. a lot easier to draw things that don't have curves 
Not necessarily as much fun. I'm drawing curves is fun. That's why I always think it's funny when you see like people. Um, oh, I'm bringing in some highlights here. See, so this is my third pen. This is the Faber Castell Polychromos White, which again I put got from the Artful Box. So it's it coming really handy actually. It's a really nice soft. It's a lovely soft gentle pencil. Very friendly. So I kind of, I suppose I'm setting the light from vaguely from the right. It doesn't make any sense because it looks like it should be from the right but actually slightly closer to us. I don't know. I thought it was from a very strange angle. Though I'm thinking that it's possible there's two light sources in this image. Or possibly just one light source. And a reflected light source. That that would probably do it, actually. Yep. Here we go. This is this is me mooning at you, just so you know. I would never mill at anyone in real life. I'm, I'm far too much of a chicken. It's kind of... I don't know how old you guys are, but it's kind of Tony Hart. Look it up. Uh, where we used to have... Is it... Uh, Take Art? Take Heart? I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, so we used to have a drawing... Well, an art show, kid show, when I was... A tiny, tiny human, many, many, many moons ago. Um, and he used to do very simple drawings and stuff. There you go. It's quite a nice paper because even though it's not got a massive um, texture to it, it's quite a nice texture. It's a fairly even texture, but you'll see that I actually use the way the oh, I've not made a very good circle there have I oh well even planets aren't actually circular but spherical spherical not properly spherical I mean the earth itself is not spherical it's a uh... oh okay they're coming to get us again thank you for that Mr. Ambulance uh, it's an oblate spheroid. Means it's slightly squished at the top and the bottom. To be fair, I also I'm not really an oblate spheroid. I'm not squished at the top and the bottom. I mean, I'm not averse to being squished in the bottom, but I'm not at the moment being squished at the bottom. Uh so Oh, a bit of blending here. See, now th this, I don't know if this is clever or whether this is something everyone does, but I'm going to use the stamp to actually start putting details in. Can you see there? I'm using the, the stamp and the, the dirt, well dirt, the graphite that's already on the stamp to start building in the details of this. I mean, it could be a planet in the background it's kind of moon like because it's cratered but that's mainly because we sort of think of the moon as being cratered so I'm slowing down so you can actually see what I'm doing here so where my stump is mucky I'm using that as the start of where the craters are I'm not saying I'm doing a massively great job but it makes it a bit more interesting it gives me a guide as to where they they go so I'm looking at where there's gaps actually in the, already in the texture and using those as a guide to where the craters need to be. So rather than making them exactly where I want to put them, I'm going with what's already there in front of me. Which frankly means I have to do less work. And it makes sense, you go with the materials you've got and what they're doing. 
Or at least I quite like doing that. Because you'll find that generally when you're working with any kind of materials, you'll find that it will do certain things and not do other things. And you will learn how to make the most... Oh, that's my nose. I thought I'd taken my face out. You just saw my nostril there. That's... If, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. I'm not sure why you would be into that sort of thing, but, you know, it takes all sorts. Take it up and I'll hurry that up along. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you that that's what I was doing and have a word about that and trying to make these weird little crater-like objects. I kind of hope I do it properly. I'm not sure if I am doing it properly. Um, it's always my intent to do that. But you know, in intent and what you actually end up with sometimes are two different things you know so yeah so oh my gosh oh that was a fire engine interesting must be a, an accident down the road if there's an ambulance and a fire engine or bust cheery thought but there you go it's because we live on a main road. Sorry about that. We live on a main road and where I'm sitting right now is at the front of the house again and stuff. So, uh, noisy, noisy. I hope whoever it is that's in the accident is okay. Let's see if it is an accident, but fingers crossed it's nothing major. Mind you, it's very 2020 at the moment. What am I doing here? Concentration on the task in front of you. Don't get distracted by the world outside. Words to live by. Except when they're not, obviously, because, you know, the world outside. Um, I'm not sure it's as good as the little one that I did, but... I'm perhaps trying too hard for the video. Leave the comments. I'm not sure if it looks like this. Excuse me. This planet is about to get hit by a moon. When I did it, I didn't feel that it did. I did, definitely felt it was more sort of a moonrise type thing. But this could be misconstrued as a you're about to get hit by a big thing. But I reckon maybe this is a moon being seen by another moon from the point of view of another moon. After all, there are many moons where you can do that in the solar system. Just because we've only got one easily visible moon doesn't mean that other places don't have moons that see each other. Although there aren't as many rocky moons. There are a lot of icy moons. Icy moons. Chilly, chilly. You have to take your thermal pants with you. Your big girl thermal pants. I feel like I should have made more effort to make some of these craters ellipses rather than circles. Although some of them are sort of designed to look as if they're one on top of another. So you've got like several, a cluster. And it's with the uh, craters are probably too small. After all, you expect more craters on the dark side of a moon than on the light side of the moon. I mean our, our moon's got big craters on our side but the the back side, for want of a better word, the back side of the moon is uh, by all accounts rather rather more pocked because it gets more regular impacts. Hurrying up a bit there. Da, 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 da. Trying to get a bit of. I don't know. Maybe I should have made the the background darker, but I, d I didn't want to. I really wanted to work from a midpoint. So I mean, the implication is. Am 
I do I suppose when you've got when you're out on a dock and there's like a, a moon, a very bright moon, and it can light the landscape in that sort of weird sort of grey blue way. too much with that one. Should have just left that left that white shaded in. I get back to myself. I overthink things. Sometimes you've got to go with how it looks rather than how you think it looks. Some people have issues with that. I have issues with that. I still have to remind myself sometimes that actually just because I think it looks like that doesn't mean it does look like that. I have to remind myself to actually look at what I'm looking at. If that makes any sort of sense. Yeah, it's weird. Kind of, it's kind of made this moon look slightly confused. Although to be fair, I also am slightly confused. One of those tag yourself situations. Tag yourself, I am slightly confused. It's kind of like a spider, I don't know why. I think that. I mean, when you think about credits, they're kind of like big droplets you know when you have those slow motion pictures of droplets oh there's a bottom lip I saw poking in there uh, thing is if I took too much of my own face out so to speak it would actually yeah also the light is catching on the graphite that is a disadvantage of graphite is it does have to uh, tend to have it does tend to be a bit shiny which is fine until the light catches it and then you've got something that's just shiny which is blah blah I've probably made it too close to a sphere too round needs a knobbly edge more knobbles on the edges of things 2020 more uneven surfaces 2020 Ah, see, I'm trying to give myself a horizon line here. It's a bit low, there's a horizon line. A little bit more light. A bit more light, a bit more light. Light, 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 light. Yeah, so it looks limn. L I M N E D. Is that right? Limn. I don't know, anyway. Although, judging by the look of that, that's quite a curvature on that planet so maybe I we are on a little moon trying to fix the fact that I screwed up the light effects earlier I can see when I'm trying to fix a thing also implying that whatever this surface is made of is a lot more reflective than you normal sand maybe it's like some sort of mica or maybe ice or snow again tell me what you think in the comments below if you get this far into the video obviously uh, and let me know if you want more videos like this I mean I'm always happy to do stuff for my subscribers. Well, I'd say my subscribers are subscribers. Because we are goblins of creation. Goblins. We are plural. 
I'm hoping I can get more of the goblins involved, but at the moment there's only the two of us that seem to be majorly involved. But maybe I have to uh, invite guest goblins in from time to time. That'd be quite fun. You know, have a, like a conversation or a joint drawing task, or maybe even, if I'm feeling very excitable, a challenge. Um, Speaking of challenges, Inktober's been having a hard time of it. A few people have got a bit overexcited. I mean, we all want to keep our intellectual property to ourselves, don't we? But at the same time, we still want to do stuff with other people. It's, it's a complicated situation. But this strikes me 2020 is a very complicated year. In fact, I, I would say 2020 is the year to sort out complicated stuff. Sort out your moons, make your textures fully textural. Don't be shy. Be proud of your pockmarks. Don't just, you know, be smoot. Because, you know, oh, looks like I dropped something there. Probably a light. You know, the world is not smooth. Your cool rocks are cool because they have wobbly bits. They have round parts and crunchy parts and all sorts. It really does look as if that's about to hit on there. I did not notice that before. Who's got hit by the moon on their 2020 bingo card? I don't. Drawing the moon, or a moon, totally got that on my bingo card, but not being hit by one. Am I overdoing this? I don't know, man. I just don't know. Ooh, here comes the stump. Always trying to tone down some of those highlights. We're slowly coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy it, show it to someone you think might enjoy it. Let them like and subscribe. I'm not, I'm not fussed. I'm not proud. Ooh, hello, looks like we're going in for some more detail here. I mean, you think I'd know what this is all about, but basically, when I'm drawing, I tend to get so into it that I can't really, I stop talking, which is kind of awkward if you're trying to interest other people in what you're doing, which is why I have to come back and do like voiceovers and stuff. But I'm not sure I'm doing that right either, but that may just be my own insecurity. But we are seriously close to the end now. Nearly done. Um, oh, so exciting! Nearly finished. So yeah, definitely some sort of soft stuff with rocks and a moon. There you go. That's the whole thing. And I hope you enjoyed it. And again, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.